Hi guys, welcome. Today is all about the Dubai Sports City. I've been doing a property vlog, a Dubai property vlog, and this is my third part of the little series. So, the first video was on the Jumeirah Palm. So I took you guys around the palm, we had a look at some sites, we had a look at some properties. The second video was on the Dubai Marina, which again, I showed you around the location of the area. I also took you into some amazing apartments. Those of you who are interested in any of those videos, please do have a look down in the description below and you'll find the links to those videos. But today, it's all about Dubai Sports City. Now, Dubai Sports City is probably about 15, 20 minute drive from a, a beach, no traffic, and about 25 to 30 minute drive to the Burj Khalifa, again, no traffic. First of all, we'll have a look at the facilities in the Dubai Sports City, have a look at a bit of the location, what it looks like, street appeal, and then we will go and have a look inside property. Okay, come along, let's go. Okay, so I just want to show you a little around Sports City. I guess it's kind of the center of Sports City uh, in that you've got the um, Canal Residence Towers, which are all very beautiful. And there's a man-made canal. Right in front of me here is a BMX kind of bike track, which the kids love. So we'll go down and have a look at the canal and have a look at the buildings. They're really quite beautiful. So it's really um, got a lot more work to be done, obviously. You know, there's... there's uh, bridges over the canal. Yeah, they're quite quite beautiful buildings really. And this is the uh, Dubai Sports City Canal that I showed you earlier today. It really looks beautiful at night time. So. so the facilities here are world class. You can see the running track and the stadium. Okay, so Dubai Sports City has an amazing international multi-purpose sporting arena. It actually has a 30,000 spectator capacity, so it's a really large one. It's one of three in the United Arab Emirates. It's mainly used for cricket, so there's been huge matches here from um, you know, Australia versus Pakistan and um, you know, lots of international games. So yes, yeah, so Sports City, for those who are sports enthusiasts, has some really great facilities. So here we're looking at the uh, ICC Cricket Academy. Okay, next to that we have Fit Republic, which is, there's a swimming pool in there, this is a gym. Uh, in there you'll also find there's kids uh, training for kickboxing, for gymnastics. Uh, there's quite a few different types. That dome-shaped building there is all indoor, uh, air-conditioned football training fields. And then there's also some real grass fields out the back. Okay, going into the La Liga Academy now. This we're going to have a look is the indoor playing fields. So they're just using a very small portion of it at the moment. Actually that black curtain there is actually separating it in half. So it is a very large indoor soccer field. Okay, so here we are at the outdoor fields. We've got some fields here that are um, artificial turf. And then over the back, there are more fields that are natural grass. Yeah? Even more fields over here. So. The actual league that my boys play football in is actually held in these facilities. They are the best in the area. Up there where the lights are, you've got a cafe, a restaurant and bar, eating cafe there as well. And this is the back of the gym, Fit Republic. Look at these future superstars. He's going to kick the ball. Oh, and he didn't get a goal. Caleb, you are amazing. Okay, enough about sporting facilities. Let's have a look at some property. What we're looking at here is actually a model of the apartment block that we're going to go inside. At the moment, the apartment block is actually a construction zone, but they do have two apartments that have already been completed and have been styled. So that way you can go inside the construction zone and you can actually have a look and get a feel for the layout of the property. So I'm going to show you through this two bedroom apartment and I'm also going to show you a studio apartment. So they style very nicely and we can see what we get in Dubai Sports City. Completely different now. Now this is something that is off the plan. It's a building that's 60% uh, already completed. So they reckon they've got another 10 months on it. I'm going to show you the inside of the apartment and obviously the prices are way different from iconic locations like the Palm or the Dubai Marina. I'll show you a little bit of the area so you can get a bit of an idea of what lifestyle would be like. It's right next to Motor City, so if you're into motorsports and all that kind of stuff, then it's a pretty cool area to be in. But it's not uh, something that you can go, oh my god, it's amazing, uh, you know, water views, or it's got, it's going to have golf views, so that's nice, but um, it, it doesn't have 
waterways and cafes and lifestyles. But I'll show you a little bit around the area so you can get a bit of a vibe and get a bit of an understanding of just the complete difference in price and what you get for it. Okay, let's go. What the product which we are using and everything like that is fine. Sorry, do I need? That's I'm telling you that uh, the product which we are using, all the materials, everything. Right. Like yes. Okay. okay. So that is the entrance of the apartment. Your lock is stainless steel, your spec. Okay. Made in UK. The handles are from Manitel, made in UK. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is designed by Envisage. All uh, doors and the carcasses is MGF board laminated but made in Turkey. Yep. The hinges are from uh, Hittish made in UK. Yep. Kitchen we are providing a fitted a kitchen. Fridge as well. Fridge, okay, freezer, that's good. Cooking, uh, microwave, yep. cooking range. Yep. And the inbuilt washing machine all from Elba. Okay. Made in, Italy, made in Italy, three years guaranteed. Is there space for a dishwasher? Yeah, there, there's no space, but you can do it if you want you to. You don't want to, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, we are providing kitchen countertop will be the cost. Mm -hmm. the, one more thing that we are providing a high ceiling. Yes. Is a 3.2 glass yeah. to make sure that, yeah, exactly. um, okay. It's a heat proof and soundproof. Heat proof and soundproof. I will show you one more yeah, thing. Yeah, please. That when I open it, you can see, you the, can hear the sound. Yes, the of course. It's not completed yet. Once yes. the building will be ready, there will be no sound so, in the apartment. Yes, mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. I guess bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Same bathroom. ceramic, WC ceramic, all the sanitary are from WW made in Spain. Okay. Same wall plus system is a cabinet made in Germany. This is a first bedroom. Both bedrooms are end suite. Okay, sounds okay. good. It comes with the cellar. Green shower. We are providing the master bedroom. Yes. Okay, so lots of windows, very nice. Okay. That's okay. Okay. No worries. So obviously, price-wise, it varies depending on what floor, what yes, exactly. aspect but, but you have. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So see the balcony is quite squeezy. It's a quarter kind of walking balcony, so you can go all the way around. Yeah. Um, this is on the first floor, but if you goes all the way to what floor? Sixteen. Sixteen. So if you're on the sixteenth floor and you had a view of uh, Victory Heights um, Golf Course, you're looking if you're on one of the top floors at nine hundred. 927,000. 900, 9, yeah. If you're on the lower floors with not as good an aspect looking perhaps to the community, you're looking at 771. Okay, can you give me an idea of what the rental potential will be for? See, as for the, the market situation, 55 to 58,000. 55 to 58. That's the market situation. Right now. This is a studio. Yeah. So neat little kitchen, bathroom. Okay, separate. And this is little lounge with a bed for a studio. Okay, so what's the pricing of studios? These studios are starting from 359. 359, okay. And actually it has kind of a better balcony, yeah. I think, because you could put a little table and chairs there. Built-in cupboards there. And what's the rental for a studio well, at the, the moment? The rental for the studio is around 27 to 29,000. 27 to 28,000. Yeah. So this is kind of to give you a bit of an idea of what the actual community looks like. It's not even really a community. It's not in a uh, gated community at all. It's more, I would kind of feel it's like living in the suburbs, I would say. Um, it's, you know, in a 10 kilometer radius, you've got like 32 schools. So if you're thinking about, there's obviously always lots of construction going on. So you can see that here we've got, um, you know, land that will eventually be developed. So this is near Media City, near Sports City. Motor City, so you've got lots of things going on, but it really is looking like um, more suburban style lifestyle. But you can think of the amount of money that you're saving in comparison to um, living on the palm. So let's have a bit of a look at something that you get if you do decide to go inside a community, a gated community. If you go inside a gated community, something like this, which is Victory Heights. You know, the, the community lifestyle is phenomenal. You'll get um, security, you'll get swimming pools, you'll get playgrounds, you'll get sports fields. Hi. So you can just see the difference in, um, you know, the landscape is for one. The amount of money that is spent on the upkeep of the gardens everywhere. Here we've got a uh, playground for the children. So this is inside a community. Inside a community, some won't have any apartments. So this one here doesn't have any two bedroom apartments for me to compare for you. It does have uh, 
townhouses and it has villas around the golf course. So this is obviously a much more expensive location to live, unlike what I've just shown you, which is um, very reasonable, pr reasonably priced, but you're not getting the community that you would get if you lived in a gated community like Arabian Ranches or like Victory Heights. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a, an insight into the options of property. So this is a disclaimer to say that I am not a property expert. What I am is a property enthusiast. So always excited to be able to show you around property. Um, we have bought and sold many properties in Australia and have been through the process of buying a property here in Dubai. So whatever knowledge I have, I'm always happy to share because obviously it was a very different experience buying property in Dubai as opposed to Australia. Uh, the little bounce that we've had here in Dubai is very exciting for the fact that the property market has been falling for the last four to five years. Of course, that bounce hasn't been across all uh, property sectors or even in all property areas so of course uh, I am not comparing apples for apples with what I've shown you today I would never compare a two-bedroom waterfront prime location on the Palm apartment to a two-bedroom in the suburbs they are very different products and obviously have very different price tags but I hope I've given you a bit of a teaser as to what properties there are available in Dubai and what it looks like in February of 2021 let me know in the comments if there's something in particular that you would like to see if you want to see some more family friendly or villas something like that they're always happy to show you and I am grateful that you've come along for the ride and had a look today so uh, thanks see you next time bye